In the last video, we looked at the man page for the ls command. We saw that there are a number of command line arguments and options that can be used with the command. In this video, we are going to look at how to use them in more detail. As a quick reminder, let's look at the man page for the ls command again. As noted in the last video, some options can be specified by a single dash and a single character, such as dash a, while other options require two dashes and a multi-character description, such as dash author. If an option provides the ability to use either one, you are free to use the format you prefer. Also, you are free to mix and match formats as long as you follow a few rules. First, you can combine more than one option that uses a single character, but you can't combine multi-character formats. For example, let's consider the dash A and dash L options. We see that the dash A option lists all the directory contents, even entries that would normally be hidden since they start with a period. The dash L option lists the contents in a long format that shows additional information beyond just the file name. If we use the short single character format, we can write the command like this. However, if we want to use the multi-character format instead of dash A, we have to separate the options like this. Notice the output is the same. Generally, users prefer the single character option if available. Let's go back to the man page and look at another option that takes an argument. The dash i option allows you to specify a pattern indicating entries to ignore and not list. Let's see this in action using the two formats. Let's ignore all the entries that start with the word file using the pattern file asterisk. First, we can use the single character format with the command Notice the directories and files that start with the string file are not listed. You have to be careful when combining single character formats and using option arguments as you can easily encounter problems. Also, if you are using special characters like the asterisk, you must put the ignore pattern in quotes. Until you get a better feel for the command line, I recommend that you don't com combine options if they require an argument. If we want to use the multi-character format, we would use this command. The output of the commands are the same. All we did was use a different format. Now that you know how to read help information and use options to customize the ex execution of a command, you are ready to start exploring some more complex commands and use cases in the command line.